Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this tutorial, we're going to be working with the new Amore Natty Braids from Chad's, Fas Chad's Fashion. Uh, the hair is pre-stretched. Uh, I believe this is the 44 inches. I will put the link in my description to where you guys can purchase the hair. Uh, it feels very, very nice and it's very, very nice to braid with because it's kind of soft and it does really, really well in hot water. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Uh, so we're going to be doing the regular, you know, triangle part because that's what's popping right now so that's what we're gonna be doing and it just has a very very nice finish uh, so she does have a lot of hair so we're gonna be doing the triangle parts a little bit smaller so that way um, she can wear her hair for a long longer period of time uh, so these are I would consider this medium because like I say, the parting are not too big um, but yeah and, and it's not large either so it's just like perfect medium sized triangle parts uh, yeah so uh, so first things first, like I always say, you already want to have your section of your horizontal line going and then you do two different angled diagonal parting to create the perfect triangle shape. And after you're done, you want to take some products. The product I like to use is Shining Jam. I'll go ahead and link that in the, in the description as well. Hopefully I remember. Um, I just take that and apply that to the perimeter of the hair. Now the reason I like to do that is because I want it to be very, very nice and slick and tacky, which makes it easy to work with and helps with your grip. Um, not only like if, you're, if, you're, if your grip is kind of weak, okay, when you have that product, you literally have to do very little effort because it's going to create a very smooth uh, textured look at the base so that way it doesn't look kind of all over the place. So using product does help your grip and then when you place the hair you want to split her natural hair into three and then divide the braiding hair accordingly and then you just begin to do the crisscross method. Now I like to braid like an inch first and then I flip my hands over because it's more comfortable for me that way and then I proceed on to just doing the braids. Now the method that I use to get my braids to look very very tight and like you know tight it, it just looks very very stitched and close together is I, I keep my hands really really close. Um, like you see how my hands come out in the middle of the braids when I switch it. I like to keep it close to where I want the next, um, what do you call it? Weft, not weft, basket net looking, <laughs> what do you call this? Uh, where I want it, the weaving, that's what it is, the weaving to form. So you see how that, like that finger next to my thumbs, I guess is the index finger, it comes out in the middle. That's where I want the weaving to form. So if you want it to be looser, you kind of have to like kind of keep your fingers further away and not make it so close together. But if you want it to be really, really close and tight, make, make sure that you kind of pop that finger closer um, to where you want it to form. So um, that's just a little tip I like to use. And of course, as I get closer to the tip, I like to take a piece of hair, just like a very tiny little strand and use it to tie like a little knot to secure it. Most people don't need to because by the time you are done with your hair, you dip the hair in hot water. That also seals the ends for you. So you don't really have to tie the knot if you don't want to. But I like to be extra safe and just take, you know, that little extra step to make sure that the hair is like really nice and secure so that way I know for sure nothing's gonna come undone. Uh, so when you want to do the edges of course like I always say just kind of stick, it, stick down the edges a little bit and of course you just repeat the same method that I just talked about. Um, so I'm gonna let you guys kind of watch and then if I have anything else that I need to add to kind of help you guys I'll go ahead and come back and let you guys know. But yeah, we're just pretty much repeating the same process. Um, be very, very careful when you're braiding the perimeter of the hair because it is the most, um, it's, the, it's the most tender part for a lot of people. And it's just the thinnest part for everyone's hair. So you want to, you know, take extra caution when you're braiding the perimeter. Make sure the density of the braiding hair matches the density of the edges that you're using in terms of like, you know, the thickness of the braids matching the thickness of the parts that you you know that you section off that's going to determine if the hair is going to break or not most people don't know that so be very careful make sure that the thickness of the braiding hair matches the thickness of the parts that you've already sectioned off to braid so yeah <laughs> So where a lot of people
people tend to kind of mess up when it comes to triangle parts is when you get to the top, the crown section. Uh, you gotta be very careful because most people have different size, like shape and size of hair. So what works for one person is not gonna work for the next person. So what I like to do is that I like to make sure when I get to the crown, I either do um, four to three like sections individually, like just going straight back. Or you can, if you feel like it's gonna be, it's not gonna be, like if you feel like when you part it, it's gonna be too big on one section, then you can divide it to smaller sections, if that makes sense. So when I get to the crown, I can either do three rows going back, or I could do one row going from um, side to side, and then two rows at the very top. So it just depends on the individuals, you know, the way their head is shaped, you know, it's gonna vary. Um, but yeah, just kind of use your discretion. Um, try and make sure that your parts kind of resemble a triangle as much as possible. Sometimes it's hard, I, I know, because when I first started doing them, it was kind of hard to gauge. So the best tip or tip or information that I can give you is just to like, you can pre-section it off so you can see, use your clips, you know, see, okay, if I do this, how many triangles can I get in this section? Well, would I have enough? Um, would I have enough triangles in this section to actually make actual triangles, or you know, you know what I mean? Like just kind of pre-section it and just kind of work in sections. That's gonna enable you to see the bigger picture, so that way you don't overwhelm yourself and then start creating boxes instead of triangles or just like awkward triangles. Because that happens sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. But um, yeah, just take your time and pre-section it off and see what you can create, what works, what doesn't work, what you might have to modify, things like that. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. So as I mentioned previously, this hair does come in 44 inches as well as 54 inches. Um, it does contain antibacterial fiber, so it prevents it from being itchy. So um, if you get irritated a lot by your hair, then this is definitely a brand to go to. Um, obviously, it's also hot water set, so if you wanted to curl the hair, you can curl it. Or you know, if you dipped it in hot water, it's going to respond very, very well. Um, as well as it does come pre-stretched, so it saves you so much time from actually braid. You know, from the actual hair braiding process, it takes out like at least an hour from you know standing time so i really, really love pre-stretched hair and this is definitely you know the move for 2018 so i uh, look into it and i like how smooth the texture is so when i'm braiding i don't have to do so much work um but yeah i'll just let you guys see for yourself <laughs> Also, if you're looking to purchase this hair, I'll be sure to put the link and addresses to where you can find this hair at your local beauty supply store. So make sure you guys check it out uh, in the description below. So this is what it looks like when we're done. Um, those are just some products residue from the jam we applied. Don't worry, it's going to dry as you know time goes. Uh, but what I like to do right now is just take a pair of scissors and of course trim the flyaway hairs just to make the hair look as neat as possible. Um, take your time. Flyaway hairs can be kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> They're so annoying to trim off and they take so long. But um, yeah, take your time, get as much as you can. If you don't, if you're not able to get as much as you can, I'm gonna show you a technique that you can use to make sure that it's you know nice and flat. 
Um, so you want to go ahead and drape your clients and then dip the hair in hot water. And I like to apply the mousse. Um, this is going to add some shine to the hair. And you can take it up a step further by dipping your towel into hot water. Make sure there's no excess hot water dripping because you want to use the steam from the towel to lay the flyaway hairs. And what that's going to do is just, you know, make sure everything at the top that you couldn't dip into the bucket of hot water, you're going to be able to get those parts and make sure that, you know, it's nice and laid and you don't have to go back in with a pair of scissors you know so this is just a little thing I like to do and it works really really well for me so you could try it out see if it works for you too and yeah so this is what the hair looks like make sure you enjoy your hairstyle um, I love the triangle looks it's super super cute super fun it adds a little extra oomph to your braids and just give it a little more personality um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you like share and comment and I'll catch you guys in my next video have a merry day and God bless